Hello friends, uh, after seeing the agenda of the training and getting the basic uh, overview of the objective C and how it's different from the other objecting object oriented programming language, now it's time to implement whatever we have learned till now. Now during the early session we discussed that we require Xcode IDE to uh, create these programs which can run on the Macintosh or the iOS devices. Um, Xcode is an ID produced by the Apple and uh, it has an icon of a blue color with a hammer. So when we're gonna open the dock, we're gonna click on the Xcode and as soon as you click on the Xcode, you see your top menu changes to Xcode. Now from there, we're gonna say new project so when you open say new project you see an Xcode ID opens up. Now this Xcode ID is used to develop the apps for the iOS and the Macintosh both. Now how can you see that? If you see the template which it provides for the project contains for the iOS as well as for the Macintosh. We are interested, our focus is on the iOS. So we're gonna say iOS and when you say iOS it gives you the lot of templates to create the applications. So I select single view application, I click next. When you click next, it gives you the detail to, which you have to fill up for to, in order to create the application. Product name is basically your application name. So I say project one. Now basically a project name or the product name should always start with capital letter. Company identify is basically starts with com dot the company name. So for our case, it's com dot name up infotech. If you see below, Below it's bundle identifier. Now bundle identifier is used for deployment process. But if you see it's grayed out, you cannot edit, right? We can edit, but we wanna see later on when we wanna deploy this project on the iPhone or the iPad. So bundle identifier basically is a combination of com dot company name dot the product name. Class prefix, you keep it empty. We're gonna start with the iPhone and then we we're gonna port it to the iPad. We won't be using any iOS 5 feature for like storyboard or automatic reference. So we say next. Now when you say next, it gives you the option and we're gonna go to the workspace. For my case, I have created a folder name called Priyank on the desktop. Inside that, uh, I wanna say create. So the project gets created and this is how it looks. So I just close down this for a while and we're gonna come back again. 